No more drinks until next payday. But Tom, I only want to wet my whistle. Wet it here with water. Oh, gee, but that'll make it rusty. Never mind. We've got new jobs, and you'll have to stay sober. change. What change? I gave you a $20 gold piece. You're crazy. You give me two bits. I knew I was right. I had five of them. I only got four. Where's my change? What's the matter, Sophie? I got a drink. I gave him a $20 gold piece and he won't give me my change. He didn't give me a gold piece. He gave me a quarter. Your partner's right. I saw the whole thing. What are you butting in for? Because I don't like to see a man cheated. Come on, shell out. Sure. Get your change, Sophie.
Well, stranger, you sure got us out of a terrible mess. Oh, shucks. I know a couple of real fellas, one of you. You certainly saved my bankroll. And I got some interest, too. How's your shooting arm this morning? Great! Well, get ready. Oh, gee, there goes my interest. All right, fellas, i got to be rambling. Why not join up with us? We've got a couple of jobs promised, and I'm sure we can get one for you. Well, I... Yeah, why don't you string along with us? We'll have barrels of fun. Why, the three of us can lick any gang on the border. Bob's promising, but i got to tend to some business in Rio. Don't forget to look me up. All right, Bob. And we'll be in town on the first payday. And we'll have a real celebration. Adios. So long. There goes a regular guy. You said it. That was a rifle shot. Yeah, from the direction Bob Road. Dirty hyena plugged him in the back. Ranger. I guess they got me, boys. Who? I was on my way to Rio to take charge. Uh, I had an idea they'd stop me. That's the reason I was traveling under cover. But I, I guess they got wise. Do you know who it was? No. It could have been anyone in town. The place is run by the toughest bunch on the border. There's been so many killings lately that decent people in town have appealed to our post for help. Give my stuff to the post and let the chief know what happened. And there's, there's something else. My, my. What a pal he would have made. I kind of lost interest in the job we were heading for. Me too. We've got a more important job to look after in Rio. Yeah, hunting rattlers. The kind that shoot a fella in the back. some bullion from the mine when some men came in and plugged me and took the bullion away. Did you recognize them? No. They had bandanas over their faces. A couple of you boys, help get him into the hotel. to stop. And I'm sure they will when the new ranger gets here. We've got to have law and order.
Better get him to bed. Take him upstairs, boys. I ain't shipped any bullion in a year. And I won't either, till that new ranger gets here. Well, at least you don't lose it. Look at me. I come into my store, take out my stock, and forget to pay. They don't care much for sheriffs around here. You said it, brother. Rio's only sheriff lasted just one hour. Where is he now? Pushing up daisies. Nice, friendly little town. Yeah. About as friendly as a nest of rattlers. Nobody is safe anymore. I'm checking out. Done. Here's your bill. Huh. Just charge it. Say, hey, that's what you said the last time. I might pay you if you'd give me a little kiss for a receipt. Here, you stop that. Come on, be a nice girl. Give me a little kiss. How much does this number owe you? $25. Sophie, see if the cashier's got any money. Why, he's fat. How long have they been owing you? Three months. How about interest, Toby? How much? Oh, about five dollars? 
and five for me. Thank you. And now you're a cash customer, and goodbye. I'll get even with you guys for that. We'd like to get a room. Well, how long do you expect to stay? Oh, about a month or so. Well, that's a pretty long time to figure out. Don't worry about the money. We'll pay in advance. Well, I guess you'd better pay me by the day. By the day? Yes. Strangers like you don't usually last more than 48 hours in this town. <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll take a chance. Well, you were sure optimistic. Who's a prosperous looking gent? The town banker? No. He's richer than the banker. That's our undertaker. <laughs> He'll be coming around the mountain. Come around the mountain when she comes. Come around the mountain. Come around the mountain. Come around the mountain when she comes. She'll be riding the white horse when she comes. She'll be riding the white horse when she comes. Ah, who are the happy hombres? It looks like the Smith brothers. It is the Smith brothers. The tubby takes along the border. Part of the gang has been terrorizing this town. Is that so? Yeah. And you'd better like their singing if you want to use your room. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Let's give the town the once over. Well, good luck, fellas. Can't say I didn't warn you. Thought you'd like it, we've been a practicing on it for two months. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger, drop it on the floor. 
Looks like the ranger got after all. It ain't possible. Are you sure you didn't slip up? I tell you, I... Then who is it? Where did he get messed up? Well, that's what I'm going to find out. <laughs> this man is the new ranger. You dropped this on the floor. Thanks. I heard looking down over before I made myself. I'm Mason, the banker. Welcome to Rio. We've been expecting you. Glad to know you. Come on, everybody, to the bar. This calls for a celebration. The drinks are on me. <laughs> I'm ashamed of ourselves, stranger. We won't apologize. That's all right, boys. I rather enjoyed it. I've got a nice place for you to live. We got a room in the hotel. Oh, no need of going to the hotel. I can let you have a cottage just outside of town. Thanks. That suits us fine. Now, there's an old sheriff's office on the street we can use, of course. Uh, it'll need a little fixing up. <laughs> I'll say it will. Well, how about going down and have a look? Good. A fine gunner you are. Can't tell a ranger when you won. You better have your eyes examined. Yeah? Looks pretty well used up, but I'll get a carpenter on it and fix it up in the morning. It looks like there's a few chores we can do right now. Well, help yourself. When you finish here, come back to the saloon and I'll take you to the cottage. Thank you. Well, you've done it. Now what's the next move? Go through with it, of course. And if the killer comes back to town, what then? That's the man I'm waiting for. Yeah? Don't forget. He'll know us, and we won't know him. Why, it'll be like fighting in the dark. Oh, well, don't let's worry about it until we have to. So good. <laughs> I did get the right man. What's the use of lying? He's here, isn't he? Well, if I did make a mistake, I can fix it. No. As long as he's here, we can use him. He's more valuable to us alive than dead. Now, we let him quiet things down a bit. Then Carol Jessup and the rest will start shipping a bullion. And when that happens, it'll be time to get the ranger. Yeah, that's right. Why don't you get out of the way? Thanks to an old freak. <laughs> All right. I just saw what happened. Yes, it's outrageous, these drunken cowboys. The streets are not safe even on the Sabbath. Well, it's pretty hard to keep the liquor away from the boys as long as they can get it. But we passed a law two years ago to close the saloons on Sundays. But you enforce it. We've never had anyone who had the courage to do so. Come on, Sophie. Yes, sir. 
Well, what can I do for you? Take off your apron. What? You're closing up pronto. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the law, you pastor. Closing slows on Sunday. Why, well, that law's a joke. Nobody pays any attention to it. Turn up, boy. Get in here. What's that? What's the matter, Ranger? I'm just enforcing a law they forgot about two years ago. He can't get away with that. Do as he says. The Ranger's right, fellows. This is Sunday. And if we're going to have law and order, we've got to back him to the limit. Hey, you two. Come here. Take the gun, Soapy. I'll just keep these until your matters improve. Come on, get going. All of you. Well, call on me if you need any help, Ranger. I'll be only too glad to cooperate. Thank you. Hey, Tom, look. Morning, sir. You're doing fine, boys. <laughs> I think I'll mosey down and see what the stagecoach brought in. All right, Sophie. Is there a ranger in town by the name of Bob Adams? Yes, why? This young lady is looking for him. Yes, I'm Bob Adams' sister. Well, welcome to Rio, Miss Adams. I operate the bank. I'll take you to your brother's office. Oh, thank you. Uh, this way. Just a right. Oh, Sophie, can't you stay sober? I'm plenty sober. Just look at me. I'm looking at you, Tom. I saw her get off the stage. Mason Meadow is bringing her up here right now. Jumping wildcats. She mustn't see me. Uh, you take care of her. Tell her. Tell her I'm out of town. But listen, what'll I do with her? I don't know. Do something. Tell her. Uh, take it to our cottage until I can figure out what to do next. Here she comes now. Where is Ranger Adams? Why, uh, he isn't here right now. Well, evidently you don't know it, but this lady is his sister. She just arrived. Why, didn't he get my letter? Oh, yes. He told me all about you. When will he be back? I don't know where. Uh, but he told me to take you up to all our cottage. Well, I hope I'll see you again, Miss Adams. And in the meantime, if there's anything I can do... Thank you, Mr. Mason. Uh, you must be tired, Miss... Uh... Adams. Adams. Go up to the cottage and rest. Yes. I had a hunch that undertaker didn't measure me for nothing. Hurry, get her to the cottage. We're all set. Cal Jessup is shipping his bullion tomorrow, and I got my boys all lined up. Good. You know, we can take care of the ranger. Leave him to me. It'll be a pleasure. Remember, he's got to disappear. And no mistakes this time. Now watch him until he gets out of town alone. Don't take chances on any possible witness. All right. I uh, hope the rattler don't slip off this time. He won't. It's goodbye, Ranger.
sweet little house. I know I like it here. Look at this room. Yes, sir. It's a good thing I'm here to take care of you two. Yes, sir. Call me Mary. Yes, Mary. Tell him I haven't arrived yet. I want him to worry a bit. He's worrying plenty already. What? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, I left my purse outside. together. He isn't in right now, but he'll come out to see us when he gets back, won't you? Uh, yeah, sure. Excuse me, please. Now what? I, well, I couldn't tell her I was a brother, could I? Oh, uh, thanks for bringing me out. <laughs> What are we going to do about it? We'll just have to trust to luck. Maybe the killer of Bob Adams will show up by the time she learns the truth. And if she does get wise, well, I'll tell her I was posing as her brother in order to run down his murderer. I'm beginning to see that undertaken now. how they could. Oh! 
And that was how Sophie and I met your brother. We parted the best of friends. We were to meet him in town. I'm glad he got away. I'm glad you're glad. But I thought you just rode away on your white horse. That was Sophie. He drew them away from the house. Which way did they go? Up the road. I've got to help Sophie. Pop, who runs a hotel, is a friend of mine. You can reach me through him. Please keep on believing me. You will get the murderer of your brother. with you or me, or Soapy, had anything to do with the killing of my brother. Tom is safe as far as I know, but they may have caught Soapy. is wounded. He's at my cabin in Cedar Canyon. I'm going back to the cottage. Tom might be there if he doesn't get in touch with you first. Hurry before the news spreads around town. All right. I think it'll work, Mason. She's hot putting it now to tell Tom. Good. He'll walk right into the trap. He'll do anything for that fella of his. No, we'll find Rattler. I'll bring Sophie here. You ride to town and get the doctor. All right. So your pal wanted to be a ranger, huh? Well, he'd be ranging the green pastures pretty soon. <laughs> He's on his last ride right now.
Soapy, you're badly hurt? I'll take it to the cottage. Mary's coming with the doctor. Any moment, Sophie. He'll fix you up. You're not gonna kick off now. Sure. I'm too darn honored to die. You got shut up saving me, didn't you? Why'd you do it? Well, I'd be a fine pal if I'd let you walk into that trap. <laughs> I'll find those two rats. I'll make sieves out of both of them. The doctor's here now, Sophie. Something's gone wrong. We've been double-crossed. We'll barricade ourselves in the room and shoot it out. Sophie, I could finish them now, but it'll spoil my plans to get the murderer of your brother, and I promised you to do that. I think I have a way of making the kid Bob Adams show his hand. What I want to do is get the leader of the gang, but I'll need the help of you all. We're with you, Tom. I want you to see that Rattler Brown and those that run with him are at the saloon at sundown. Then.
outside and keep the sidewalk in front of the saloon clear. you dropped in, folks. I was just going to look you up and say goodbye. Goodbye? Can't we persuade you to stay in Rio? We want to make you sherry. That's mighty nice of you, but uh, Mary, maybe you can persuade him. You know, Tom, I like it here, and I'm going to stay. That makes a difference. Oh, <laughs> oh, 